And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to be very honest with you right up top. Uh, there have been some changes for good, for the worse, and back to good with our expected event that's going to be cropping up by late Tuesday night through your Wednesday. And right now, we're on the lesser bad side than we are, hey, this is going to happen. Anyway, I'll show you in just a minute what we are looking at. But right now, your Texarkana New Holland Skycam looking right down in Texarkana at Kennedy Lane and Summerhill Road and blue sky all the way around it should be a fantastic sunset across the area. Relative humidity levels, they aren't that bad. 60% right now in the Minden area, 56% in Shreveport up in Texarkana. Only 50%, 63, one of the highest, and that's really not all that high. That is in Magnolia, Arkansas. However, we're going to see multiple facets of things concerned in our heavy rain event coming together over the next 24 hours. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. As far as the wind speeds, way less than 10 miles an hour. Uh, seven miles an hour, Magnolia, that's it. Only three in Shreveport, only three in Mansfield and Center. You get the idea, there's not much going on and uh, altogether it's in a southwest flow. But let's talk about the setup. High pressure is moving off to the east. Rotation around that, it's gonna bring in a southerly surface flow. So plenty of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, a couple of disturbances moving in, but as we get into tomorrow and into Tuesday, we're going to see a system, upper level system, pretty powerful now, st uh, developing in the desert southwest and northwest Mexico, and it will head our way. But it will pump in some upper level moisture from the Pacific Ocean, as well as helping get some moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. In other words, as we always put it, our atmosphere is going to be soggy from top to bottom. And with just a cold front coming through, oh yeah, there's one of those two and there's a low level jet and all that coming together. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on. As we go to Monday 7 a.m., we may see a few clouds develop and there may be, watch out tomorrow morning, for some patchy fog to be developing as well. But 11 a.m., we're starting to see the winds increase out of the south-southwest, while to the east, a south-southeasterly flow as well. And the winds get a little bit stronger on your Monday, 7 p.m. We will continue to watch, and as we go into your Robert's Toyota Futurecast at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, we'll see some showers developing across the area ahead of that system, but don't look for it to come on through. This is going to be a slow mover, and... As it does, it looks like from East Texas into Southwest Arkansas, we're going to see that uh, rain increasing. We'll see lighter amounts across the Southeast. But look at this, as we go to 12 p.m. on your Wednesday, it's just down to showers, but another little burst comes in as we go through your Thursday to a.m. Skies are clearing. And here is what we're looking at as far as your excessive rainfall outlook. Either side of Interstate 20 and all the way on to the north and northeast. That's a slight risk. That's number two out of four, the highest. And much of northwest Louisiana, East Texas, and the counties right along the Louisiana border, marginal. That's the lowest risk. And it is showing possibly in excess of an inch to maybe two inches northern Arklatex, while we have lesser amounts across the southeastern portions of the area. But still, we're going to have to watch this hour by hour, day by day. But tomorrow, after 47, 70 degrees, 72 on your Tuesday, 20% chance of showers and maybe thunderstorms overnight into your Wednesday, a 90% that could be high impact or the possibility of flooding or flash flooding. We go to 61, then sunshine brings us back to 65, and then the temperatures crater. We will be watching temperatures at or below freezing on your Saturday and Sunday. So that's what it looks like. We'll be right back. <music>